And here we are, coming live to track. LCC down on pole, leading Dano Cuthbert, Mega Man, Hatless Hard, Mr. Tafter, Lucky Miss, Kimmy LaFleur, Lucky Dian, and Gator. And we're live! And that's the solo start, El Susi then holds the lead ahead of Dano. Lucky Moose, up a position, into 5th place, Atlas Hard in 6th. Cuthbert has had a rough start here and has been bumped down to 7th place. But other than that, it is clear, and Kenny LaFleur, here in the Ferrari in ninth, might have a little bit of a run on Black ADN for 8th place. Up the inside. But he backs out of it. Oh, that's Cuthbert and Patless are both going a little bit wide here. Goodness, that's a weird amount of lag we're getting here right now. I could end with a real nice view here of the Cuthbert Pat Lassard fight. But everything is still very tight as we come to the end of this first lap. Fastest lap for all CC Ben, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone jumps them. Oh no! And that's a big moment for Lacadien, who is into the wall, but he seems to be undamaged. Let's get a view of that uh, end plate, see if he is okay. He's going to be treading gingerly on that. And here we go, LCC Dan still leading Dana. Getting some interesting glitches of positioning, but looks like the game's starting to sort that out. And actually, yes, it does look like LCC Dan's car is entirely intact. At least his end plates are looking okay. Pat was hard, close behind Cuthbert here. But it doesn't look like he's going to get a bit of a run since he has slipped out of the slipstream and is just taking a nice wide route here. Keeping everything nice and cool. You know, Mr. Tafter? Following closely in behind uh, on Mega Man here. Like Moose, still up two positions, but he's falling a little bit off of the back of his Aston Martin rival. Here at Pat, right behind Kenny. Oh, bit of a moment for Kenny. Is that going to cost him coming here into the hangar straight? Uh, pardon me. Oh, Kenny goes wide to the inside, and he has DRS, which is going to make this pass very difficult. Meanwhile, back up in the front three, there's no real gap forming between LCC, Van Dano, and Mega Man. He might have a bit of a run here. It all depends on how they can make it through this type S section through Magus and Beckett's. Oh, Dano's close. Dano's very close. He makes a move up to the inside. And El Susie Dan sees the position. Dano 12 has taken first place in this race from El Susie Dan. El Susie Dan's making the move back to the inside. Dano gives him space. They're very tight. 
Side by side here, Dano has the inside line. Oh! And pass up as tight as you dare, but El Susi Dan still holds his line, and ultimately Dano is going to have to back up. El Susi Dan retakes his position, but Dano is not out of it. No Suri coming in. Oh, and there's some contact. Oh, that's going to be bad. There's some ghosting going on here. Lucky Moose coming through, and Dano is falling, falling down the positions. Cuthbert is through. I think everyone up to Kenny LaFleur is going to get past Dano off of that, and has he taken damage? That's critical. He was battling for the lead, and all things just got a little bit too heated. He's right here behind Kenny LaFleur, who's now up two positions. Cuthbert slowly being able to uh, recover after a difficult start back up towards his qualifying position, but no one is doing better than Tafter and Lucky Moose. Let's ride with them now. Lucky, he's uh, sitting way out on his own here. He's fallen off of the leaders a little bit, but he's building up a comfortable gap to Cuthbert. Uh, meanwhile, Kenny LaFleur has been keeping a fairly close follow here, so I should be on him. But look at Dano. Dano is not going to want to spend any more time back here than he can possibly get away with. He's got a very nice run here. He's already outside. He slips back as Kenny Flair has DRS as well. Oh, this could be something very exciting here as they come in. Dano up the inside. And is Kenny going to be able to fight this? He is. He's holding on to his position, but he's got a slightly compromised line. And Kenny Flair is able to defend it through Vale and Club. But he takes a little bit of a wide line as he comes up into the start finish straight. And Kenny holds it through Abby. Both of these two, might I remind you, right behind Cuthbert. Pat Lazard, meanwhile, uh, 1.9 seconds off of the back of this one. And we're seeing a fight for lead positions here. LCC Dan leading Mega Man and Mr. Tafter. It's a tight fight as these guys are pulling away from the Mercedes. Oh, a little bit wide for Tafter. Might have gotten a warning for that. And here we go, everyone making their way through cops. Dana going to be really frustrated with this situation, but he's going to want to get that run on Kenny LaFleur. Here we go. Full deploy. Going to see if he can get that move done. It doesn't look like it's there. And Dano is once again going to have to content himself being stuck behind the Ferrari of Kenny LaFleur, who is himself stuck behind the Alfa Romeo of Cuthbert in 5th place. Oh, that's important. El Susio Dan picking up a penalty. Mega Man and El Susio Dan having a battle for the lead of the race right now. And it looks like El Susio Dan was backing out of that. Perhaps he knew that he'd uh, defended illegally and needed to let the position through. I didn't get a good view of it, but Mega Man is wide, and that allows Mr. Tafter and El Susio Dan through as Mega Man makes his way back onto the track. Still comfortably ahead of Lucky Moose. Though. Just behind, Kenny LaFleur has a run on Cuthbert. We switch to the Cuthbert cam, as we see Kenny LaFleur in on the inside. Cuthbert cuts back on him, but Kenny is still cleanly through. Now Dano's going to try and make a move up the inside. Oh no! Is there a bit of contact? Dano just barely saves it, Pat Lassard coming up behind him. And meanwhile, another penalty in the match, El Susio Dan's Mega Man has a 3 second penalty as well, which puts Mr. Tafter into effective lead of this race right now. And let's have a look at that right now, as he makes his way through. And Megas and Beckus, you just can't take your eyes off of anywhere at this race here. You look left, they go right. You look right, they go left. And speaking of going to the right, here is Mega Man on the inside of El Susio Dan. Side by side into the corner. Watch those turning inputs. And side by side again. And once again, El Susio Dan is pushed a little bit wide and lifts, allowing Mega Man to. Oh goodness, that was very close. He had to dodge there, and that's going to compromise him heavily. Uh, however, still this leading group has enough pace to prevent themselves from just getting pulled into the fight behind them. Kenny LaFleur beginning to pull a little bit of a gap on Cuthbert now that he's through. And now it's on Dano. What can he do? He's been fighting for the lead. He knows that he has race leading pace. But he's going to need to fight his way up through this midfield. 
Cuthbert a little bit wide there. That might give Dano an opportunity if he's able to take a very nice line in through the arena section. And here we go. DRS activated, but it's a DRS train here, so we're not going to see that much in the way of uh, Delta's opening up here. But he will be closing. Very, very tight line here. But Cuthbert is able to hold the position. And now, here we go, coming around the bottom straight, out of Woodcut, in towards Cops. The top three are finally starting to spread out just a little bit, and we're going to see a little bit of activity here, as Dano is going to be the one making moves as we come here into Vegas, and Vegas on lap 7. The DRS is open for Cuthbert, and it looks like this is not going to be the lap for Dana. Uh, Cuthbert, however, is going to make a little bit of a move on the inside of Kenny LaFleur, and that could open things up. Kenny is pushed wide, and Cuthbert is able to retake 5th position. Kenny, though, holding it side by side, and Kenny is... Oh, goodness, there's lateral contact wheel onto side pod there, and Kenny is uh, sent for a little bit of a trip. Hopefully his wing is intact there, it does look like he is, and hopefully there's been no side pod damage, as that is a thing that is now in the game. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the top three, who are just condensing back into one fight yet again. Uh, eyes on the rest of the track, Dano is following close behind Cuthbert, uh, but we just have to keep our eyes on the front of the race for this moment. Doesn't look like there's going to be any passes into this immediate moment here, but there's multiple lines that they can take through Luffield and Woodcote. Now Susie Dan has to lift off a little bit, compromising himself, but Mr. Tapta is only barely ahead of Mega Man, and Mega Man is not going to want to have him ahead of him much longer. Uh, there's going to be a close follow into Cops, and then there might be even some moves coming into Magus and Beckett's. But I don't think so, not here. It's going to be too risky, there's not a heavy enough braking zone. So instead, these three cars are going to be following their way. Oh, and that's a spin-out, I think that's Dano, who has spun himself out on the way out of Cops. And that's going to be very costly. Mega Man, Mr. Tapter side by side, coming down the hangar straight out of chapel. And here we go, El Susio down as well, and Mr. Tapter is passed by two cars in an immense DRS train here, and he drops from first to third behind his teammate and El Susio Dan. So Dano, once again, is going to have to start climbing here, but he's, he doesn't have anyone right in front of him, so he'll be able to make up some space. Meanwhile, Lucky Moose keeping it nice and clean. Fourth place, three and a half seconds off of the back of Mr. Tactor at the very end of this very tight top three battle. Uh, following him quite closely is Cuthbert, who is just outside of DRS range, but could pull himself into it any moment now. But the closest battle, and where all eyes are, is going to be on this top three. Mega Man, El Susu, and Mr. Tapter, none of them are letting the others get away with anything right now. We're nine laps into this race, and it's time to start thinking about strategy. I'm imagining most of these drivers are going to be going for the one stop, but why don't we have a look at what is going on? So at present, Lucky Moose and Cuthbert, critically, are both on the medium tires. Uh, which is going to be a good explainer for why their pace hasn't right been on where these leaders are. So they're going to have a little bit of a compromised pace early on in the race, but they're going to be able to do a later pit stop, and that is going to allow them to run the fastest tires right at the end of this race. So that will be something to see. Eighth gear for Mr. Tapter, but he's only just got the distance to keep within DRS range. Meanwhile, Dano slowly pulling his way towards the back of Atlas Heart, but he might have taken some damage from the spin earlier. Meanwhile, there's going to be a little bit of a fight going on between- oh, goodness. Gator and Lucky Din. Well, that's Lucky Din in through to ninth place, uh, with Gator falling to 10. Tight battle here, as Mr. Tapter is right on the tail of El Susio Dan. And this is going to be very nice for Mega Man. We know his pace. He was a uh, he was champion uh, in the previous season, and he can definitely pull out here if uh, if he's given half a chance. But keep in mind, he is on the same soft strategy as the other two in this top three battle. But having broken toe to El Susio Dan, there's a chance that Mega Man could just start to pull himself away here. Meanwhile, Cuthbert is right on the back of Lucky Moose, and there could be a little bit of excitement here. 
First we're gonna have eyes on, uh, on Mr. Tapter, but then we're gonna pop back and have a little look at the Moose Cuthbert fight. Oh, and that's a wide line through Beckett's maximum to be costly. Let's go and see what Cuthbert can do. There's going to be no DRS, and Lucky Moose indeed appears to be harvesting, so Cuthbert's going to be quite close at the end of the straight, but it doesn't look like he's deploying. He is saving. He's waiting. Cuthbert is being very smart with his energy here. He says, hey, you know what? I'm just going to spend it when I need it. Oh, and here we go. First into the pits is El Susio Dan, who on lap 10 to 11 is going to be making his pit stop. Meanwhile, Cuthbert right behind Lucky Moose as they pass through. And El Susi then is going to be dropping down behind most of this group. He's going to be coming out somewhere between Dano and Lacadien. Closest battle on track right now is this between Cuthbert and Lucky Moose. So Lucky has been spending a lot of his energy recovery. You can see the difference here. And this could be the moment. Here we go. Helicopter shot as he goes around the outside. And that is Cuthbert who is able to comfortably take the line through Brooklands into Luffield, and he has secured third place on track at the moment from Lucky Moose. Is there going to be a fight back from Lucky Moose? Uh, given the deltas, uh, perhaps not, but he's going to have DRS. Meanwhile, we're having a little bit of activity um, between... Uh, and whilst I was misreading that, no, it looks like uh, that's not the case. El Susi then is in fact behind Dano uh, at the end of his pit stops. Alright, let's see what Lucky Moose can do here, and let's see if Cuthbert is spending some ERS. Yeah, he does not want Lucky Moose to get close on him, so he is burning energy right now. A little bit of a wide line here. And Lucky is able to close up. He's gonna stay close here. And that is both Aston Martins into pit. Oh, this could be significant! If both Aston Martins are going in at the very same time here, then there could be a stack. I want to keep our eyes out on this. Oh no, one second, two second, three seconds. That's going to be painful for Mr. Tafter. That could be very important, what just happened there. Meanwhile, this effectively puts Cuthbert into the lead of the race, but there's a lot more drivers who are coming in right now. Mega Man, Mr. Tafter, Kenny LaFleur, Pat Lassard, Dano, and let's see where El Susi Dan is going to come out through this. So critically, this has put El Susi Dan comfortably ahead of Mr. Tafter. As everyone is pitting now, everyone that is, except for Cuthbert and Lucky Moose, the, true, the two drivers who are using this alternate strategy. So eyes now on El Susi Dan, he's the one who did the uh, strategy one lap earlier than everyone else. Uh, but he is still behind Mega Man, so he wasn't able to get the undercut. But he is able to uh, to compromise Mr. Tafter, and honestly, that was some unfortunate uh, team interactions there between the two Aston Martins. Mr. Tapter just had to have been gnashing his teeth in that situation. Oh, why? It would have been so much better if we'd been off by one lap here. But now he just has to has to make it back up, but that could be very, very difficult for Mr. Tapter's charge for the podium or even the win here. Meanwhile, eyes on Dano. He's going to be working the recovery race here. We saw him fighting with El Susio Dan right at the beginning of this race. He has the pace to be leading. Um, so we need to see what he can do to cut through the traffic. Ahead of him first is Pat Lassard and the Red Bull. It's all about getting the good launch. Is he going to go to the inside? Is there a defense from Pat Lassard? No, there is not. And Dano is able to make his way up into P7. So Lucky Moose following close behind Cuthbert here. Cuthbert critically staying near full energy, and Lucky Moose is just, just starting to slip outside of DRS range. We'll see if he can hold the DRS right now. Ooh, that was almost dangerously wide into the entrance of Cops, but he seems to be okay. He's expending a little bit of ERS right now. But I think Cuthbert is going to start to build the gap here with all the extra energy he has to deploy at the start of these straights. And critically, we look at the gap and we look at the pit stop time. Mega Man is going to come out in the lead, but Mr. Tafter is going to be right in this fight with Lucky Moose and Cuthbert. 
Uh, but a lot depends on how the tire wear is being managed by these two who are currently leading but still have yet to make their pit stops. So, for the first time in this race, just as we come past the halfway point, everything has calmed down for a moment, things have stabilized. Cuthbert is leading Lucky Moose, both on 13 lap old mediums that have been running since the start. El Susio Dan uh, was able to do his strategy getting one lap sooner than everyone else, and that is going to put him just behind Mega Man. So, an effective second place once Cuthbert and Lucky Moose make their pit stops. Mr. Tafter was caught in a uh, double stack. And that's going to be very costly, and the question is, how much pace is he going to have on these? Is he going to be able to build up enough of a gap that he's going to be able to defend against Cuthbert and Lucky Moose? Oh, there's a yellow flag, what's this? Looks like there was just a moment for Gator, but he is still intact, his car looks good, and I'm always glad to see that. With El Susio Dan here, chasing down Mega Man. Again, this is for effective race lead. So this is looking to be the big battle that we're going to be looking at in this race. But Mega Man's got some very, very nice lines through Maggots and Beckets. And for the moment, let's see how they're doing in terms of energy. Almost the same, a little bit more, 10% for El Susia Dan. But there's not a massive difference between the two of them right now as the drivers are spreading out across the track. Mr. Tafter, just time trialing at this point, doing everything he can to pull himself back onto El Susia Dan, but he's currently 9 seconds behind. Kenny LaFlair having a Fairly nice race at the moment, uh, running P6, chasing down Mr. Tafter. Dano working on the recovery, uh, 4.6 seconds off of the back of Kenny Flair, and then we have Pat Lassard, who is 3.3 off of the back of Dano. For the back, we have uh, Lacadienne and Gator, uh, who is P10. Still no retirements from this race, other than JL Patel having his connection issues during qualifying, unfortunately, which have prevented them from taking part in this race. Cuthbert has built up uh, an additional second to his gap over Lucky Moose for a total of two seconds between the lead pairs. And the question really is, how long are they going to go before they're going to switch over onto the softs? Silverstone is not really a tire-killing circuit in this game, so the medium to soft strategy is 100% viable. The question is, how late are they going to push it? You can see that Mega Man has really been closing. It was 18 seconds back, now he's 15 seconds back. If they want to have a chance to challenge for the lead, and I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be possible, they have to play a careful game where they get the maximum pace and the maximum time out of their tires without having to have either their mediums or their softs spend too much time in the really, really worn period. Cuthbert, leading the race, and once again, still has some very, very high ERS. He's just holding on to it, not expending it very much at all. El Susu Dan, still 2.4 seconds off of the back of Mega Man. Mr. Tafter, not really making any difference, he's just following approximately the same speed behind Dan. And Kenny, time trialing. Dano, time trialing. It's time trials all the way down, folks. And here we go! It's the pit stop for Cuthbert, and Lucky Moose may be going for the overcut, or is he going to try and just stay up one more lap and have slightly fresher tires at the end? Well, here we go! It's going to be Cuthbert serving his one and only pit stop as he drops on in second, and Lucky Moose now, for the first time in this race, is leading. But how much longer is he going to go on these mediums before he throws in the towel and puts on the softs to finish this race? 
Mega Man is through on Cuthbert. El Dan is through on Cuthbert. The big question is, where is the driver who's going to be nearest to Cuthbert going to come up? I think he's going to be pretty close to both Tafter and Kenny LaFleur as he comes up. But why don't we go with Tafter first? As I can see that Cuthbert is slowly starting to roll his way out, Tafter can see him. And here we go, they come up very close to one another. But Tafter is able to secure the position ahead of Kenny LaFleur. Uh, sorry, of Cuthbert. Critically, though, Cuthbert is on these soft tires. They won't be up to temperature yet, but he will want to get this position. Mr. Tafter, he is, you know, he's paying for the team issue of having that stacked pit stop that cost him a bunch of time and gave him absolutely nothing. Uh, and Cuthbert is going to be all over the back of him here. So there's a time for deploy, and we know that uh, Cuthbert is a uh, is a big for saving his energy. So here we go. Is he going to try and make a move coming into Megas and Beckets? That would be bold, and he's not going to do it. Uh, there's a there's a certain level of discretion that comes in here. He's got a nice tight line. Mr. Tapter's a little compromised, and here we go. This is going to be the move. Mr. Tapter has no defense at all. As Cuthbert curves his way through up the inside, Mr. Tapter. Just stays out on that side as Cuthbert cuts wide to get the good entry. And that is Cuthbert comfortably up into fourth position. Lucky Moose now making his pit stop. This is uh, some interesting camera that I'm getting shown right now. Huh. Alright, here we go. Lucky Moose makes his way out, and he is behind both Cuthbert and Mr. Tafter. So you can certainly see the gap that forms there. Um, but he's going to be able to potentially do the exact same thing to Mr. Tafter. Behind him, 2.7 seconds to Kenny LaFleur and 2 seconds to Dano, who is just working to salvage what he can out of this day. Meanwhile, Mr. Tafter has not fallen too far off of the back of Cuthbert, and if these two can fight, uh, it may allow Lucky to crawl back here. Keep in mind, Lucky was 2 seconds down, um, when the uh, pits happen, perhaps two and a half seconds, and he's now four seconds down on Cuthbert. So if these two can fight, that is exactly what the Moose is looking for. Uh, but on those tires, right now Taft is on these five lap old tires. Cuthbert, leaving tight to the inside to break the DRS, well, to break the draft, I should say. But it's not going to work this time. Fastest lap from Mega Man. And there's a yellow flag in Sector 2. What's this? This looks like Pat Lissar. It's Lac Adienne. Does he have any damage here? Does he have no damage there? Is damage turned on? Well, I honestly can't say, but this is going to be interesting for the fight for 9th, because this is Gator coming through, and Lac Adienne is right on the middle of the track. And here we go, he's on the move again. Meanwhile, Mr. Tafter is still right behind Cuthbert. And he's not letting go of him, but if Cuthbert can just break this DRS, then it's going to be like what's happening with Mega Man and El Susio Dan. And right now, Cuthbert has the huge tire advantage. One lap old softs versus six lap old mediums. There's no contest. You'd, you'd want to be on those softs, especially with only seven laps to go. Dano's really pushing, picking up a uh, picking up a penalty for some corner cuts, uh, but he's doing everything that he can in order to catch up with Kenny LaFleur. So right now, we're seeing only two strategies, really. Uh, we've got everyone except Cuthbert and Lucky Moose, on the medium to, uh, I'm sorry, on the soft to medium strategy. And it looks like Cuthbert is just barely failing to pull away from Tafter. Tafter is holding on by the skin of his teeth, by the tips of his fingers. But Cuthbert might have just now broken outside of DRS range. They're sitting right at about a second, and that again is the gap that is required. Oh, that's a large corner cut from Tafter. You won't want to do that much more, or else he's going to have a very difficult time getting this position back. 
Critically, Mega Man, with 8 seconds of, of penalties, is going to be dropped behind El Susiadan so long as he cannot break out of a 5 second gap. Lucky Moose is just uh, continuing to sit at almost exactly the same distance behind Cuthbert that he's been at earlier. Oh, and we're going to have a little bit of a moment here, Gator and Lacadien. Lacadien up the inside, and he secures ninth position from Gator. Once again, we still have no retirements from this race. Critical moment coming up here. Is Mr. Tafter going to have DRS? I think his DRS has been broken. Yes, it has, and this is going to make things very hard for him to catch up. And now the question is, is he going to fall into the clutches of Lucky Moose's Mercedes? So once again, we go to our on-track leader, Mega Man. But he has 5 seconds more penalties than El Susio Dan, which is going to drop him 3 seconds behind. El Susio Dan is functionally in the lead right now, and Cuthbert setting fastest lap now. As he races in, Cuthbert is going to be a very real contender for second place in this race, which would be a very impressive result from him. Good job, uh, regardless from everything that he's done thus far. He's holding off Mr. Tafter, who is now losing several tenths a lap to this uh, Salvar Alfa Romeo. And Lucky Moose following behind, making his way down the, uh, the central straight. And then into Brooklyn's. A little wide into Luffield, that's going to compromise his line slightly. Meanwhile, Dano has caught just onto the back of Kenny LaFlair. And they're on the same strategy here. Oh, pardon me, actually. I think that Kenny might actually be on hearts, unless I missaw that. And I think I did, because I don't really imagine anyone wanting to be on the hearts here. So I probably just saw that at a very tight angle. Yes, those are indeed yellow medium tires. So here we go. Dano with 48% power, Kenny with 51. It's very, very close. This is all going to come down to who can take the S's better. It's a very, very tight line, and that's what you want from Dano. The power is on. He's in the draft. He is in the DRS. And let's see what he can do against Kenny LaFleur. It is full deploy, but he's still not quite close enough. He could go for a late lunge into Stowe, but he thinks better of it. There might be a move into Bale, though. Kenny LaFleur goes tight to the inside, and there's a yellow flag up ahead. Looks like everyone's through nice and clean, though, so all remains well. And Dano is still following tight behind Kenny LaFleur. A little bit of a cut. Dano will want to be careful. Into turn three and through arena. The next big overtaking opportunity is going to be into Brooklyn's, into the corner after this. And here we go. He's close. He's got to run. He's got to deploy. Is Kenny going to defend? He goes tight. Kenny has the wider line, perhaps a less compromised line. And there we go. Dano is through on Kenny LaFleur in a battle for P6. He might be thinking of what could have been if it hadn't been for two contacts and uh, moments earlier on in the race. May have just been one contact and one spin coming out of this very same corner, Cox. Now we're going to see if Kenny, who hasn't expended too much of his energy, is going to try and make a move back on Dana. He's deploying, but Dano's already pulled ahead by 8 tenths, and that's going to be a hard, hard gap to close. Lucky Moose picks up a 3 second time penalty, which is going to prevent him from jumping a position over Mr. Tafter unless he can get through, because pretty much everyone except Kenny LaFleur himself has a 3 second penalty, so actually, if Kenny can just stay close behind, he's still going to have 6th place here. Uh, it's on Dano to build another 2.2 second gap. And he might do that, because he just set fastest lap. The soft tires are starting to lose a little bit of their advantage. Cuthbert is getting a bit of an advantage on Lucky Moose, and Lucky is slowly, slowly catching Mr. Tafter. But is he going to be able to do it in time to finish this race? Kenny LaFleur following 8 tenths behind Dano. He's got DRS, and he's got his deploy. There's a yellow flag in Sector. Oh, what's this? That is Lacadien has DNF'd! Like again, off the inside of the track, and that is the end of the race for the Red Bull. And this is a late safety car. Oh my goodness, this changes so much. Is anyone going to go for the pits? 
Atlasard does not go for the pits. Who's the next who's going to have the choice? It's Mega Man. Oh, what an interesting situation. Three laps to go. A safety car. Who knows how much time there's going to be for the safety car since the group is very widely spread. I think I'd go for a late pit stop here. Nope. Well, let's see if anyone else is. Oh, there we go. That's one of us who's going to do it, and that is going to be Pat Gator, who is making his way in. No reason why not. Cuthbert is going in. Lucky Moose is not going in. Oh, this could be critical. Oh no, Cuthbert picks up a 5 second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. And Kenny LaFleur coming in as well. This is going to shake everything up. In fact, is the safety car even going to finish? There might only be one lap left. Pat Lassard slips his way through. Cuthbert in the pits, serving his time penalty. And he's out. So this is all about track position now. Mega Man, El Susu Dan, and Mr. Tafter have not given up on their track position. Everyone is going to be able to save on fuel here, so everyone's going to well, really be able to, uh, to run full out late on in this race. There's going to be at least one further lap of the safety car because Pat Lassard is so, uh, so far back, he's almost uh, a lap down, but he's going to get all of that time back. And here we go, Mega Man and El Susi Dan both already collected by the safety car. Mr. Tactor just behind, and why don't we have a look? Uh, take away from these penalties, just assume everyone has 3 seconds except Mega Man, and it's going to be painful. Oh goodness, safety car in this lap! Well that is interesting, they changed the AI a little bit, that definitely wouldn't have happened in the last game, they usually wait for everyone to get together. Dano, very eager here to get caught up with the group. So eyes are on Cuthbert, Kenny, and Pat, who are the three who have switched their tires up. And here we go, for the safety car restart. There's- oh no, is that a spin-up for Lucky Moose? Oh dear, on the just on the restart, and this is Cuthbert coming back in, and he takes the position from Lucky Moose on fresh tires, but back up to the leaders. We've got Mega Man, LCC Dan, Mr. Tafter, Dano right behind, and Cuthbert, who is racing in. Keep in mind Cuthbert and Kenny LaFlair and Pat Lassard on these fresh tires, but Pat's too far back to make anything of it, unfortunately. Since the race really wanted to get going here. So we go up, and all of these leaders have not pitted an extra time, so they're all running the same strategy. Mega Man, El Sizio, Mr. Chapter, and Dano all together. Uh, that's going to be a frustrating moment for, for Lucky Moose. And just behind, we've got Mr. Uh, we've got Cuthbert, who is the leading runner on these totally fresh tires. But the safety guard did not wait long enough for him to catch up, so he wasn't able to capitalize, and Lucky Moose, who was there, uh, simply wasn't able to do anything with it because he had that spin just before club. So now, we've got a close run. El Susio Dan right behind Mega Man. And critically, El Susio Dan knows he has this race. Ooh, or does he? He just picks up a three second penalty, and that is going to drop him down two positions right now, unless Mr. Tafter and Dano make some mistakes. Penalties are so, so costly when the grid is as tightly packed as they are right now. Mega Man leads, El Susio Dan second, but right now, the potential race leader is Mr. Tafter. Here's Cuthbert, again, if he'd only been a little bit closer, if he'd been able to catch up to the safety car a little bit faster, he would have been in it to win it, but instead, he's going to be probably finishing in fifth position. It's unfortunate for both of the guys running the alternate strategy, a little bit of a uh, misfortune, a little bit of a uh, just slightly over-aggressive uh, acceleration, and that can be all that it is. Oh, Mega Man has a moment. El Susio Dan takes the lead on track. 
Mega Man still running a wide line here, going to see if he can get it back at Cops. LCC then doesn't have the greatest line, Mega Man. Going full deploy. Are they going to go side by side through Megas and Beckets? No, I think not. Mr. Tafter is just going to be thinking, alright, just stay within three seconds and I have this win. Stay within three seconds and I have this win. But is Dano going to have anything to say about that? Because Dano himself is running so very, very close that he might be able to do something wild here. Not quite, though. Here we are, coming up towards the finish. It's El Susi Dan, Mega Man, but Mr. Tafter is who we have the eyes on here because Mr. Tafter is going to get promoted to P1 with Dano recovering to P2, El Susio Dan P3, Mega Man P4. Here comes Cuthbert, and he is not quite able to cut in on where Mega Man was, but Lucky Moose devoted behind Kenny LaFleur at the line. And then we come to Pat Lassard. Put on the softs, but there was not enough time for the safety car to gather up everyone before the end of the race. And as such, Pat Lassard is going to come home, P8. And Gator has already crossed the line, P9. And there you have it, AFR preseason race Silverstone. Well-earned, driver of the day for Mr. Tafter.